Good morning. I am Pastor Erin Marie Burns here at Lord of Life, your associate pastor, and I join you today with our Wednesday devotion. Not too long ago, we had a special holiday, and some of us miss it throughout the year, but that was Earth Day. My children were so excited when they came home that day. They had this action-packed day of talking about how to take care of our planet. I spent the day, not even knowing it was Earth Day, planting seedlings inside for some flowers and herbs around the house. I reflected that in the summer, my children have been taught to wash the dog or clean up when covered with mud before they go inside. We play outside in the garden and we go for hikes together. We dig and we play. And when my oldest was little, I remember talking about what roly pullies were and trilobites, all that lived long before the dinosaurs that he loved so well. And as I get older, I have learned how important rest is. I think of it as healing and strengthening in concert, just like the plants that I love planting. Now, throughout time, we have been teaching kids to treat the planet kindly, to plant, plant and eat. I myself have taught our children what poison ivy looks like and not to touch. We talk about the trees that are silent, but have so much to tell us if we only listen. They can tell us how to be calm in our souls. We have composted at times. We have put on our boots to collect the Japanese beetles that might be eating blackberry bushes. We have drove to state forest and national forest and walked along those paths watching the magical winds take the trees into dance. There is joy because they deserve to know all of those things. Our kids, our grandkids, and all those that we love deserve to know the joy that comes out of each of those things. And as a mother, it is sometimes hard to make the time and to think about those things. We all have to admit that life sometimes gets in the way. Now in our teachings, especially during this Easter time, I think about the crucifixion and the rest of the story that we never hear from Mary, the mother of Jesus. After she witnessed her son crucified, what did she do? What do you do when you see your son murdered by the government of the time? Did she curl up and writhe in pain and in darkness? Did she fight? Did she pray in private or in public at the time? I have these questions, as I'm sure you do, of what actually occurred. Because we can understand what that pain for Mary may have been like. But we look into today's world during this Easter season and we realize that there are many changes happening around our world that God has given us. There are still viruses here. There are ecosystems that are disappearing before us. We are witnessing creation perishing before us in so many different ways. Yet the lessons of mothering and caring and tending and nurturing and healing and cultivating a future ahead of us for all that are left after us is important. And it is here. We can create and recreate and forge for ourselves an offering of love that was shown through Jesus, through God's love, and give protection and care for our children and our grandchildren and all those that we care for. For the planet, God has given us so much and entrusted us with that care for what we call Mother Earth. So as spring approaches, let us seek God in all things. Let us reach out for those who are around us and help them and teach them things and leave them with something special for each of them. Let us pray. Dear Lord, as we move through this Easter season in the church year, 
Help us cultivate relationships with one another. Help us plant and renew and grow not only physical things during the springtime, but those emotional and spiritual growths and traits and assets that you have given us seeds of faith to start. Lord, in your name we pray. Amen. Please join us this week, as always, on Sunday between 8.15, 9.31, or 10.45. The 9.31 and 10.45 is streamed here on Facebook, and we look forward to having you join us this Sunday. Thank you, and I'll see you next week.